everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a very noisy video day because it is extremely hot outside that I can't survive without a fan. So I'm extremely sorry about the fan sound but I don't want to die today. Life is too good for me to miss. But leaving that aside, today's video is going to be a kind of get ready with me using some new products that I bought recently. They're not new to the market or anything like that. I actually don't know if some of them are. Maybe they are. I, I really don't know. I'm gonna use like a mixture of some new and old products and I'm gonna start out with eyes. And for eye base, as usual, I'm not gonna use anything new because I'm just obsessed with the MAC um, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I'm just gonna use that. I have a mirror over there. So if I'm looking at that direction, it's just because I need to make sure that I don't kind of mess things up. And it's just basic, you know, just smear it all over your eyes and pretend that you have a clip. I do have a clip. I'm gonna clip my hair up because I just kind of blow dried it and you know when you blow dry your hair it's kind of unruly and that is just what's happening right now with my hair. It's just rebelling. So yeah, the first step is done. The next step would be to clip up my hair if I can manage to close this thing up. Just, you know, get yourself comfortable while I tie or clip up my hair because hair on face while you're trying to apply some makeup, it's not a comfortable thing, trust me. Alright, so next to be using some eyeshadows, I'm going to use something new that I've never used and well, I might have actually used like the highlight shade of it like once or twice. But essentially, I haven't really used it. This is the Essence All About Eyes, All About Nude Eyes, All About Nude Eyeshadow. It's like an Essence palette, and it's in the number 01. I'm not sure if there are multiple numbers. All I know is that this is 01. All right, so if I can open it without ruining my nails, that would be great. I should have planned this out a little bit better. I'm going to use my MAC 217, and I'm going to take this color right here, this one. I'm going to sweep it, oh, that's kind of powdery, on my eyelid. And that kind of brightened my eyelid up and I'm kind of liking it so far. I've been really liking using the MAC 217 lately. It is kind of rough, it's not the softest brush, brush. It's, not, it's not the softest brush you can find in the market, but it's just, it does something to the eyeshadow, it just makes everything look a lot better. Next I'm going to take this pinky color right here, um, and I'm going to apply it in the center, kind of messily. Can you see the things that this has been doing to my eyes, the effect that it's been giving? Like, it's not, you know, pigmented, but it's kind of sheeny, which is nice. It's just going to make my eyes really bright. And that's kind of cool, I think. What do you think? Do you agree with me? I would like to know that. Next, I'm going to take, hmm, I'm going to take the gray. Now, this might go wrong because it is kind of powdery. And I'm going to apply it, like, in the outer third. It's not that pigmented. I take my crease brush from Smashbox and I'm just going to kind of messily blend this out. It's not that pigmented at all, actually. And it doesn't have a mirror. I would have really appreciated it if I, it was like really close to my face, the mirror, and not like 50 centimeters or 75 centimeters away. Let's wait to use the purple. That The purple is going to really determine whether I hate this or I kind of like it. But on the other hand, like this was pretty cheap. Um, so I don't know if I should have like the biggest expectations or not. Like, 
I should, I think I should have like big expectations out of every product that I purchase. Just because it, just because the price isn't steep doesn't mean that the quality should be horrible. Where is the mirror? Where is the mirror? Hold on, I need to get a mirror just to look at things closely. Okay, so I'm gonna open this mirror up and I'm gonna look at the look that I've created so far. It's not pigmented. Okay. Whatever. It did kind of do something eventually. Like after building it up for like a couple of years, it did do something to my eyes. And the purple isn't like that bad, I don't think. What do you guys think? Have you tried this product? It's a whole lot of meh for me. So um, I'm gonna stop for now. I'm just gonna blend everything in really, really kind of messily with like the softest, most fluffiest brush I have, which is the Smashbox Fix brush. I think that I'm gonna go for the liner next. Since I don't have a mirror close to my face, I'm gonna use the mirror right here in the Guerlain Bronzer kind of compact. And I'm gonna use the Smashbox um, Jet Set Waterproof Eyeliner in Midnight Purple just because I have quite a bit of purple products. So, yep, yeah, I'm gonna use the brush and then I'm gonna open the mirror again and hopefully I don't mess this up. I love these liners, they're just so smooth. Eyeliner done, next, what should I do next? Should I apply mascara or should I do my face? I think I'm gonna do my face, just in case if any kind of powder tends to grab onto my lashes. So for face, I actually bought a new product, which is the Dior Glow Maximizer Light Boosting Primer, which looks like a toothpaste tube. Um, I, my fingers are clean, I'm gonna apply it with my fingers, let's see, I haven't used it yet, alright, it seems to have a tint to it, so let's hope it's not like too bronzy or anything like that, it smells lovely, and it seems to be blending, oh, the sheen that it's providing my face is lovely too, I seem to be enjoying it, I guess. What do you think? Has the, can you guys tell that my skin look looks kind of ten times glossier thanks to this little thing? Well, it's not little anymore. It's kind of huge. Oh, I'm kind of liking it. it. Smells lovely, and it gave my skin a good sheen. All right, next for the face. I have a new foundation. Surprise, surprise, it's not going to be laundry radical and it is high end. This is the Dior Nude Air Serum Detaint Foundation and it's very liquidy and it says that you have to shake this up very, very well. It has an SPF of 25, which is very, very nice. Alright, so I'm going to show you how liquidy this is when I apply it inside this kind of moisturizer um, cap because. I can't, I can't apply it on my fingers straight. Just take a look at this thing. Like, it is incredibly liquidy. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to apply it on my face. It smells like the typical Dior foundation scent. It's nothing that I haven't been exposed to. It is quite heavily scented though. It's the scent, you know, you can't escape it. There is just no way that you can go about using this foundation without smelling anything. Absolutely impossible.
It blends in extremely well. It has provided my face with not like with it hasn't provided my face with a lot of coverage, but it has kind of evened out my skin tone and provided more luminosity to it, which is always a good thing because I love luminous skin. Now for the areas that I need kind of concealer, obviously I'm going to apply concealer, but I just don't like a lot of coverage, which is why I think that this is just a perfect foundation for people like me who like natural um, looking foundations. I love the luminosity. It is extremely luminous. I'm not sure if it's just the primer or also the foundation, but my skin looks extremely healthy. I'm I'm loving it so far. Okay, so for, for, for concealer, I haven't bought anything new. I'm still using my beloved Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Concealer. Stay in place, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to apply it underneath my eyes. I'm going to blend each eye at a time just because I have a fan going on. And I'm afraid that things might kind of dry up and become kind of not the easiest to blend because of the fan. I love this concealer. It's just the perfect one for every day. And you can also kind of layer it over a, um, you know, corrector for those special occasions when you want your skin to be completely perfect. There is this kind of Smashbox advertisement that has been going on on YouTube for the, you know, um, what's that one called? That, like the contour palette. And the makeup artist does blend, blend, blend like it's your friend, friend, friend. I don't get it. What? Do you blend your friend? I don't. Do you blend your friend? Answer me, please, because I hate being the bad friend who doesn't blend their friends. Blend, blend, blend like it's a friend, friend, friend. What does that mean? Seriously. Okay, so now I'm going to use my beloved meteorites uh, powder, obviously, because that's like the best powder in the universe for me, please. Ah, if I can open it. It's kind of difficult to open. This one is like, actually, now that I'm kind of using it more and more, it's much powderier, which is not really a word. It's much more powdery than the original one that I had before, which was from the kind of older formula. This one is much more powdery. Okay. I'm going to do my brows and my lashes, and I will be back. See ya! Last eyeshadow touches before I move to my face. I'm going to use the highlight shade in the same Essence palette. And I'm going to highlight my inner corner with that. That one had a decent impact. I like it. Next would be face time. Not the actual app or whatever that one is. I'm gonna use a new bronzer that I don't think I've shown on camera yet. I might be mistaken. It's the Guerlain um, Blank. Uh, as you can see, I had an accident and I don't know what this bronzer is called. I'll leave it in the comments in the description box if you're interested. I really, really like this. I'm going to kind of apply it with a MAC 109 or 106. I can never get that one right. I'm kind of applying it on my forehead too. Like on, my, on the hairline and also on the jawline. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of my face. I really like this one a nice warm summery matte bronzer. I really do believe that Guerlain bronzers are the best, not just because I'm a Guerlain addict, but also I've, I, I kind of tr 
tried to swatch other bronzer and this is, these bronzers just keep proving to be the best in the market. Next for blush I'm going to use something that I've always loved and something that I've had for quite some time, NARS Sin. Like this blush will be one of my favorites until the day I die, which is such a sad and unpleasant thought, but I don't really mean it that way. I love it! It's such a nice one. And I love the way my skin is looking too. Just I think that this um, foundation is just really stunning on the skin. As long as you're looking for something very natural, something that doesn't look so kind of covering and all of that. For highlighter, I'm going to use something completely brand new, and it's by a brand called Gaia. It's the mineral bronzer in MB number two, and I'm going to show it to you and let you kind of decide for yourself. Is it really a bronzer or a kind of rose gold highlighter? That's the question. I'm going to kind of pour some of it inside of the cap, and once I apply it on my cheekbones, you'll understand that this is completely completely inaccurate and yeah like oh my goodness like this is just the strongest highlighter that I've ever used it puts mirror luminizer to shame really do you see that oh my goodness it looks wet it seriously makes my skin look wet kind of blending it with the um, blush brush. Oh wow. Oh wow. I'm gonna apply it a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And well let's do the second side, shall we? Oh yes. Like it is just the nicest thing in the world. And I don't get what made them call it a bronzer. I don't know who can use this to bronze their skin. Like, it's almost the perfect product to stroke with. Be really happy with this highlighter. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. There is no way on earth that the camera hasn't kind of picked it up. Finally, for lips. Actually, before I apply my lipstick, I just I just need to address this nail polish that I'm having on my nails right now. I just applied it, and I'm kind of in love with it. This is Dior. Well, <laughs> the name is kind of impossible for me to pronounce. Metal Montaigne. Sorry for butchering it. It's pretty. It's practically number eight hundred and three. It is just all kinds of stunning. This is the first time of me wearing it on. I just bought it yesterday and I'm just completely enamored, enamored by it. It's just beautiful. And for lips, finally I'm going to apply my Clinique Cheek, well no, obviously not Cheek, Clinique Pop in number 16, Grape Pop. And I'm just going to apply it right now using the camera and also the mirror yeah what a gorgeous color beautiful and this practically concludes the whole entire look the only thing I didn't like from the product that I got was the eyeshadow um kind of palette thing it's just not for me but the skin looks completely beautiful, the highlighter, the bronzer, and the lipstick, I'm just really, 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 really liking them. So yeah, this is all I have to do today. This is all. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see me kind of use some new products that I kind of buy um, directly in camera rather than just do a haul that is just a little bit boring for me. So um, yeah, that's all again. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave me some comments down below if you tried some of the some of the products, or if you have like a specific 
kind of thing that you'd like to tell me or to share with the other viewers that might actually view this video. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you in the very next one as long as you subscribe, so definitely do so. And bye.